steady. Oh, brilliant. You've got the knack, haven't you? There are no women in the movie Lawrence of Arabia, and that erases uh, the role that women played during the revolution after. Um, and so I really wanted to highlight that. I wanted to affirm the role of women. And more importantly, I also wanted to affirm um, my, I, my Arab identity by placing myself in his costume. For me, it's not a costume. It's my culture. For him, it was just, he was just, uh, it was a theatrical thing. He was just playing a role. بعد الثورة صار الانفصال صار تقسيم الدول العربية لدولات وبعد هيك برضو العرب عملوا ثوراتهم الصغيرة وتحرروا من الحكم البريطاني والفرنسي بس مش أنا عم بحس إنه الدول العربية أخذت هداك التغيير لأنها ترجع تتوحد أو إنه حتى تنهض إنها تصير كدول متحضرة متقدمة كتير لسه هاي الوصاية موجودة بأشكال مختلفة على كل البلدان العربية. هلا عم بصير الربيع العربي ويمكن كثير ناس كانوا مبسوطين بالربيع العربي وبعدين تشاءموا شوي بسبب كيف عم بصير هلا نتيجه لهذا الربيع بس ما في ثوره بالتاريخ عم تمشي بسرعه كل شيء له مراحله هيك التاريخ بحكي وانا متاكده انه اذا جيل اليوم لساته بحلم بهاي الوحده ولساته بحلم انه بالفعل ياخذ استقلال فعلي انه راح يصير هذا الشيء <تصفيق> Like a man. <laughs> like a handsome man. Yeah. It's a double edged sword with him. Sometimes you go, wow, you know, he's great what he's done. Other times, you know, by mixing with the people, becoming part of them, taking their dream, having his dream, having their dream, becoming one is really important. So that's inspirational. But then some of the language and some of the after effects all look incredibly dodgy now when you look back about empire building and God save the queen and all those sort of, for me, outdated notions of, of um, who's in charge and who, should we, who we respect in life. But I think I've got the exposure about right of mine.